Yay, we're live. Carlos, dude, you are so on time. <laughs> Holy crap, that's that's like so unusual for my streams. Usually people don't show up for like 10 minutes. So I appreciate that. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Ah, crap. <laughs> and I keep forgetting. <laughs> So then I have like major minor accidents with my pencils. You know, the major minor kind. Oops, my light. It, not quite. Let's do it the other way. There we go. There we go. I got a new um, cover for my, my glass mat here because wow, a glass mat is highly reflective. So we're gonna try that and see what happens. Yeah, my, my, awesome. What are you having for lunch? I always like to know. I, I like to know what people are having for food. Food is good. <laughs> yep, there we go. The retraining of my brain. Cindy. Wild wings and pizza. Oh, yum. Oh, man, I, I would love some pizza. Send them over. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Sorry, I didn't catch that. So I'm having pizza withdrawals. Pizza withdrawals, me too. Pizza, pizza withdrawals and um, Chinese food withdrawals. Because, yeah, Chinese food is a thing. So, hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Been all over the internet this morning. Looking at stuff. Watching videos that make me want to choke people. Oh, and yes, I have lost my filter today. So, just a little bit of a warning. If I get a little, you know boisterous out of control using my vocabulary my other vocabulary um that's why because i i truly i've misplaced my filter yum see cindy likes them too she's like yum oh these are such cool pencils i love my pencils I would have set up, but I was detained. I'm sorry. I apologize. I, I sort of set up. If I could just get things to cooperate the first time, I would be a happy girl. There we go. All these little corners and crap. There we go. You're hungry? Oh, Cindy, I love these pencils. They are, they're highly pigmented, very good quality pencils. They are really, really nice. I love them. Maribel says hello. Maribel. Wow. Hi there. Happy late birthday, Maribel. <laughs> the cat, the cat. Come here. Come here. Oh, come here. So Celine wanted to say hi. Look up here, Celine. Up here. You could show them your pretty face. Cat nose. Cat nose. Arg. Okay. Go away, chunky. She's not really chunky, but for a small cat, she's super long. She's like Elastic Cat. <laughs> no way. That is like 10 bucks cheaper than what I paid for, for one of mine. Mine were like 30, but which isn't bad. 30 is not bad. That's like, there's 30 pencils. That's a buck a pencil. It's not bad. But 20 is even, I mean, let's face it, the cheaper, the better, right? Less money. Uh, I got to do something real quick here. Mao? Hey, Mao. Hey, Mao. 
There she is. <laughs> She is talkative today. I don't know what her deal is. Rain Jane's Hi there. I can't remember what your name is. I apologize. I'm I'm horrible with that kind of stuff. I uh yeah, I'm just one pencil was used, I'd do it. I'd do it. I think they're worth it. Of course, you know, it's a, that's a per personal preference too, because a lot of people don't like the same as what I like. Oh, you know, although man, oh man. Hello, Robin. Thank you. <laughs> um, that Albert is such a nice guy. Albert is the guy that made the, um, that, that did the black widow pencils. And I got to say guys for a, a, a less expensive alternative to colored pencil, you know, to colored pencils. I mean, you can buy the, the Coran dash and, and all of that, but the black widow pencils are really good. And what makes them really good is this guy wants them to be that way. And he makes sure that they are and it's really refreshing to hear somebody say, Oh yeah, if you have a problem, email me or even call me. I mean, he actually said, call me. And I'm just like, Nobody says that anymore. Nobody. So I was totally impressed. I really was totally impressed. Okay, so I'm going to be using these. This is cactus green. And I did do a little bit of coloring on this. I did some of the, you may not be able to see it very well, but I did some on the, the seaweed that's coming up. And I did a little bit more darkening of the background add a little bit more highlights so I could I could have something to work on today. So there's that. Also listed underneath the video, this is a Catherine Dottillo picture. Catherine Dottillo or Cat, she is a super artist. She has a book, a uh, coloring book out, and she also has a website where you can go and get all of her things. She's not on Etsy, she has her own website. And um, you can go to CatherineDottillo.com. It is in the video description. And I'm hoping that that link works. If it does not, you can just search Catherine Dottillo. You, she's, I believe she's got a, a Facebook page. You can search for her on there too. Arteza is a good alternative. I agree with you, Robin. Um, I actually really like the Arteza products or Arteza, whichever way it is said. I just, I'm just going to say Arteza until somebody corrects me. You're having trouble getting them to blend? Hmm. Wow. Oh, Della. Hi there, lady. Well, how is everyone today? What are y'all doing? I mean, besides, you know, coloring and shit. Oop. There goes that filter. <laughs> yeah, I was watching a, a video this morning. Um, I watched some videos about people who uh, follow different paths of spirituality and um, alternative other than like Christianity, Judaism, and stuff like that. And, you know, the mainstream religions. Hey, cat. Oh, you're in the forest. I am so jealous. Holy crap, lady. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm working on it. But yeah, I was watching this video and she was talking about uh, charlatan teachers. And she mentioned that she's got all these um, certificates and and accolades, blah, blah, blah. And I'm sorry, you know what? I understand that when you're entering a, um, a course of teaching, yes, it is important. It is important. And that may be the way for you to go. But just because you don't have a piece of paper that someone has given you that says you've passed my course does not mean you're not qualified to teach. That is it, period, end. And the reason why I say that is because I have been on my spiritual path for around 42 years, and I have taught classes in my particular branch of spirituality, and I've taught them successfully. I never once said I had certificates. I never once said you have to do it my way, and otherwise you're doing it wrong. Never, ever once have I ever said that. I also don't take, I don't charge for my classes because I don't feel that when I was trying to learn in my spirituality, when I was trying to learn 
I was I was blocked left and right because everybody wanted a hundred dollars, hundred and fifty dollars, three hundred dollars. Some of them even wanted as high as seven hundred and fifty dollars to go through a course and learn spirituality, learn to do whatever it was that I was trying to learn. Okay. And I did not agree with that because that made it difficult to impossible for people on limited incomes who are, hey, Donna, how you doing? People on limited incomes who don't have the funds to go out and, and spend on a, a, a learning course, it made it either impossible or next to impossible for them to do it. And it made it next to impossible for me to do it at the time. And so far today, as of today, yeah, I have completed courses of training. I was gifted two of them. And I didn't see any difference between paying and not paying and validity of them. Um, so I was just like, I was just like, oh my God, what you're saying is you have to have certificates to show people in order to prove that you are able and capable and have the knowledge and wisdom to teach. And that is bullshit. Now, sorry guys. Anyway. Okay, say hi to Della. Say hi to Diane. They snuck in while you were. Diane, hey, hey. I am feeling better at the moment, Donna. Thank you. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, I get migraines, and sometimes Mark has a really bad headache today. So, so be be, be good to him, okay, guys. <laughs> um. Anyway, yes, I get migraines, and um, it's funny. I don't normally get uh, sinus headaches, but I only get one kind of headache usually and that's a migraine and it sucks because I can't take Tylenol right now so you know I just have to kind of try to go to sleep and that's kind of impossible sometimes but you know eh. we do what we can right melatonin helps <laughs> Oh, um, Cindy, you were saying you're getting, you're having trouble getting your pencils to blend. Try a, a, a blender. Like, um, I use these sometimes. It's a um, colored pencil blending pen. And it has a tiny bit of, um, it's for wax-based pencils, and it has a solvent inside. But it's also got these tips. So you can actually, you know, you can use them like a, a marker. And they work really well. They're a little smelly but they work really well. Another thing that you can try to use is um, uh, like oils, like baby oil and stuff like that. Um, I don't recommend that too much because uh, uh, oils, baby oil is made out of mineral oil and mineral oil really never dries. That is why professional artists don't use it to mix their pigments when they're oil painting because mineral oils never really dry. There are Dozens and dozens of kinds of oils. You might be able to get away with using walnut oil, which would be better, or almond oil. A nut oil might be better. So um, try, you know, does the pen have alcohol? I don't think it does. I think it's just, um, I, I think it's just a solvent. Oh, it's put out by Speedball Art, which is, uh, these. those are the people that make um, the calligraphy stuff. I think it is just a solvent. So I don't know if it's got a, a alcohol-based solvent. I doubt it. But it's um if you look up finesse colored pencil blender pen. If you check that, if you look that up, if you Google it, you might be able to find what the ingredients are. Also, if you contact Speedball Art at www dot speedballart dot com. I try to. There it is, right there. There's the the URL. If you if you contact them through that URL, they might be able to tell you, or you might be able to just go there and search that feature, like ingredients of finesse blender pen for colored pencils, or something similar. I don't know. So, yeah, personally. Um, it didn't matter to me whether it had alcohol in it or not. I just made with an alcohol based colorless solution. These blenders work. 
have it. Mark looked it up. He said, yes, there's alcohol in there. Melatonin. ADHD, melatonin is sleeping. Oh, that's cool. See, melatonin is awesome stuff. Really, Robin? Pencil cases? Oh, my God. I got to look at that. Hey, Mark. What? Speedball art. They make pencil cases. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> Do I sound disappointed enough? A little more pout in your voice. A little more pout? Aww. There you go. You're getting there. A whiner. I am putting darker shadows at the bottom of these, and I'm probably going to do like right here too. There's a little, there's room for a little shadow right there, and a little shadow down here. These pencils, you barely have to press at all to get pigment on the paper. It does have something a little bit to do with, well, actually, probably more than a little bit to do with the paper, because I'm working on gray tone Strathmore. And um, this paper does have a slight tooth to it, which picks up pigment very well. And I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Oh, no. Come on, focus. There we go. There we go. Yeah, there we go. There. It does? Is anyone else having trouble with their live feed? Vaseline on Q-tips. Yes, Robin, that'll work too. That'll work too. Anything with oil in it like that tends to break down the waxes in a wax pencil. And, and it helps. That's why it um, it blends because it, it'll break it down. Extremely hard. Oh, these pencils. Um, I don't find them that hard. Um I would say they're, hard, they're they're definitely harder than Prismacolors. Periodic buffering. Dang it! There must be a lot of people on the on the internet today. Yeah, middle of the three day weekend. Oh, Donna. Yes, I see what you're saying. Um, uh, I have tried about six or seven different migraine medications, and they do work. Um, there are a couple that give me really bad heart, like flutters. It's not palpitations, but that's just what, that's just a side effect that happens. And I'm sure that you are familiar if you've taken them. But um, right now, because of my other health issues, I can't take them. So I just have to kind of live with it. But as they say, this too shall pass. These are... These are probably, they're, they're harder, I would say, than Prism Colors, but not as soft as, oh, they're not as, I mean, not as hard as, say, I think the Sargent Arts are harder than these. It's hard, to, I can't remember, I haven't used the Sargent Arts in so, so long. But I just adapt. I mean, for me... Um, if I find, uh, that a pencil is, is working, is not working as well for me, I will just change my paper. I'll change my paper and, or I will, um, you know, do other modifications perhaps that maybe like, um, putting down a base layer of marker or something like that, that makes the color more vibrant, more deep and, and just try and experiment like that because I don't believe, and this is just my personal opinion, I don't believe that, that any pencil is unusable. I don't believe that there is there is any brand of pencil that, that is so horrible that it can't be used in some form. So I just kind of try to adapt. Ah. Okay, if you are buffering, try going out and coming back in or refreshing your page or something like that. Also, check your settings at the bottom of your um, of, of your video screen. There's a little cog. If you put your uh, pointer on there and click it, it should come up with like numbers like 720 and 
1080 and stuff like that, go to the highest one possible. If it's on auto, click the highest one possible and see if that helps too. Yes, Robin, I love this. I love this picture. It is really beautiful. Really beautiful. Just amazing. But I like Kevin. I love Lisa's work too, just so we know. Um, it's just different. You know, sometimes I'm in the mood for this. Sometimes I'm in the mood for that. Today I'm in the mood for this. And I did, I, I did, there's, I did get done with my um, journal that I'm making. I posted a picture on Instagram. It's a dragon journal. And I, there's one more element I need to add before I can do my flip through. One print that I need to make of a public domain image that is really unusual that I want to stick in that book. So it will be getting a flip through very, very soon. And I'll post a video on my channel and should be fun. It's got a lot of kooky new little dealies in it and hidden pockets and stuff. Love that stuff. And I made like four new covers yesterday, so there's a lot in the works. Uh, extremely hard? No, these are not. I don't think they're extremely hard, no. If you hear me sniffling, it's because my allergies are really acting up. There's something around here that's blooming. Um, every time Mark comes in from outside, it, I sneeze. He just, it's like it blows in with him or something. And then he, he must have sneezed eight times in a row this morning. I think it's pink. You think it's pink? Yes. Yeah. What does that mean? That's what we're allergic to. You think it's pink? Oh, definitely allergic to pink. That's me. <laughs> Although it's never made me sneeze before. Let's see here. Let's try. Let's go down here and get some of this green. Diane says that the olive trees in Arizona gave her the allergies. Oh yeah, you know it's it's true. There are a lot of al there are a lot of um, al olive trees here. However, the olive trees that bloom are very old because. They're so the allergens are so high from the olive trees that they don't allow people to, to plant blooming olive trees anymore. Isn't that funny? I learned that when I was doing landscape maintenance. Yes, I used to do landscape maintenance. And um, the the new olive trees that you plant now, they're they're trying to eradicate all of the allergies associated with olive trees because they're so bad. Another uh, really bad allergen for this part of the of the country of the desert are the desert broom. Oh my God. I don't even know if they're indigenous to this area and it doesn't really matter because they grow here like weeds. They are weeds and well, <laughs> high allergies, very high, high, just mess with your, yeah. <laughs> yeah i used to work uh landscape maintenance you know mowing lawns raking trimming putting in sprinkler systems and drip systems and trimming trees and all kinds of fun things there was one house in particular we used to go to these people had a little poodle not not a standard poodle a smaller poodle but not a teacup poodle either it was you know one of the medium-sized poodles boy that dog was a pain in the ass that dog dug up it they had a new bubbler system put into their yard to water their yard because in arizona a bubbler system is way more economical than say sprinklers um because the bubblers just you know the, the water just kind of soaks into the ground and it, the evaporation rate is lower. So um, this dog went around to every bubbler tip and dug it up. Now my philosophy, my theory was 
that this dog was hearing the water bubbling up through the bubbler tips. And it was like, oh my God, there's something in there. I've got to kill it. So it would dig up the, the um, hey, Corolla. Good to see you, lady. I hope everyone is well. So yeah, so we'd go back, we'd go there and we'd go back and, you know, because the lady would call us in the middle of the week and go, oh my God, you've got to come fix my bubblers. The dog just dug up four more. So we finally put chicken wire down on the ground to try to keep the dog from digging it up the bubblers and it kind of worked, but oh my God, you talk about hmm. determination. determination is right. This dog just wanted those damn bubbler heads. I swear to God. Maybe it was just thirsty. It's thirsty. Yeah, not, not likely. So yeah, we, we, uh, had to go repair those. We charged her for it and we had to go, you know, make a special trip to the supply store and all of that. But it sure does take a lot of time. And here in Arizona, being a landscape maintenance, oh my God, I was so tan. We tanned through our shirts. We were out all day. We wore light cotton shirts and we actually got tanned through our shirts. Talk about strong sunshine. And we go through like a gallon and a half of water a day, each of us. And there were just two of us working. We did take one of my kids. Well, actually, we took both of my kids at one point. But my youngest son, that kid, you talk about a good work ethic, man. That boy had a good work, work ethic from the time he was small. And we told him, if you work, you get paid. If you want to go and you don't work, you don't get paid. If you want to just sit in the air-conditioned car, that's fine. You do that. But we're not going to pay you for that. So my youngest man, he would just like, he kicked butt. He really was great. Corolla wants to know how you are. Um, I'm okay, Corolla. Thank you for asking. Um, you know, new challenges every day or the same ones in different degrees. <laughs> uh, yesterday I was extremely tired. Tried to get a nap yesterday and um, I just I couldn't fall asleep. It takes me a long time to fall asleep anyway, but this was ridiculous. Okay, I'm going to try a bluish color, which I don't know. I think, let me see here. Uh, I really like this palette over here. This is volume. Um, blah, blah, blah. This is... Volumes four, five, and six, I think. But there's a lot of deep tones, and and um, they're really beautiful. This is teal. I'm gonna sharpen this up a little bit. Teal what? I don't even didn't even get that, Mark. I I didn't even understand the joke. Teal. T -I, -L. teal. teal. I said. Hey. I said teal. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Just let it die. I'm just going to give this a light layer of teal because I don't want it to match too close to the water. Although I want some of the, um, I want it to be obvious that they're taking on some of the color from, from the water surrounding environment. Water's a funny thing, man. Coloring coloring things in the water. It's a little bit different. Went off the edge of my piper. You have the blast oh, haha. Ha. Mark is being a smart ass today. Oh. Corolla, Corolla, Mark is being a, a smart ass today. Help me. <laughs> no, see, she blew it. She asked me if I was behaving earlier. I said, never. And she said, good for you. So she can't go back. Oh, oh my God. Everybody's <laughs> ganging up on me. <laughs> Not. 
You guys are so much fun. Giving it a little darker color on the shady parts. I think I'm about putting some gray in there, some bluish gray. Dark. So you guys, I don't know if you noticed it or not, but my subscriber count is over 500. Sweet. Closer and closer. I'm still going to make a giant journal. I'm going to make a really nice journal for the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So you guys, help me. Corolla thinks the pickle is awesome. Oh, thank you, Corolla. You're so sweet. Everybody's sweet. Everybody's always so nice to me. I love that. I try to be nice, too. Yep, no filters today, guys. Well, few filters today. So, you know, if if I say something, I don't mean to offend you If I'm for what I'm saying, with what I'm saying. I really don't. Stuff falls out of my mouth sometimes. <laughs> ah. Let's put a little bit of a shadow in there. Yeah, I think I'm going to use another color because I think I just need to. Um... So this is part of my colored pencil box right there. I like how they've got these on the inside. They've got the names like right here. Love that. I think this is the only colored pencil set I know that has gamboge in it. Gamboge yellow is is a, a nice dark deep honeybee yellow. It's it's absolutely gorgeous. So I was thinking about only only streaming. I know it's it's been a half an hour already. Only streaming for an hour today. Um, Mark suggested maybe I should only go an hour because of the because of the way that uh, my blood sugar's been acting lately, and I I kind of agreed with him. However, if I can go longer, I will. I I just don't want to go on until you know I'm in serious trouble because that takes a lot out of me. If my blood sugar drops too low, I mean, if it drops below 70, basically, I'm in a, I am in can be in a lot of trouble, and it just wipes me out. I'm just, It's just really strange, really. Oh, let's see. This is a porcelain blue. What's this one? Corolla wants to know if you saw her first picture of the wild soul. Wild soul. I think I did. Um, I see so many pictures. I couldn't tell you if I, I if I did. Um, Where did you post it? Uh, probably uh, was it on Instagram? Wild soul. I bet I did. Oh yeah, sweetie. I check my blood sugar five six times a day. I have to. <laughs> I'm looking at what Mark said. Can't I do both? <laughs> what? Who? Oh, wait a minute now. Let's see here. I need I'm something dark. Green. What's that? I'm just slightly green. Slightly. Okay, this is a darker gray. This says taupe. And I don't have a little scratch sheet here. Let's just go in the back. Eh. I think over the other colors, that's going to look okay. Yeah, it's going to darken it up just a tad. I like that. So I'm using taupe. It's kind of like a, a brownish gray with an emphasis on gray. So Corolla says it was white coloring with uh, May, and yeah, it was, it was the one on Instagram. Okay. And Cindy says that she'd rather have high blood sugar than low any day. Hers dropped into the 30s and hurt for me. Oh, my God. Cindy, I completely agree with you. I would much rather have high than low. Much, much rather. It's For one thing, 
my high blood sugar, I don't know if, if you do this too, but when I get the high blood sugar, I get, I get a little cranky, but I have more energy. And then when I get low blood sugar, I get like, I'll sweat really bad and I can't talk very well. My tongue actually gets numb and I am, I can't put two thoughts together to form a sentence. It's just, it's crazy. One time Mark asked me something while I was having an episode and I looked at him and went, like, what did you just ask me? Because I can't comprehend right now. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's crazy. It's it's just a remarkable thing what your body can do to your, what your body can do. It's, it, 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 it amazes me. It's it also amazes me of how it amazes me how um, intertwined your mental f faculties are with your physical well-being. It, it's just incredible. Body coloring. I'm pretty sure Corolla. I'm pretty sure that I did see it, and I may have have may not have actually commented, but I do look at things and I heart them because there are so many things to look at most of the time that if I actually commented on everything, I would be, I'd, I'd be online all day long. So I kind of split it up between hearting and liking and, and commenting. Oh, and I wanted to say too, Thank you for everyone who is a new subscriber. Thank you, thank you, thank you for, to all of my new, new subscribers. And thank you guys for my existing subscribers. I just want to say, hey, you guys, without you, this would not work. And I also want to say thank you to everyone who has recently responded to my invites to the Facebook group and for joining there. I, I really appreciate it. You guys have fun. I've got people posting other things other than... Um, then um, coloring too. And I love that. I love it. Any kind of crafts, coloring, artwork, whatever you do, assemblage, assemblage, whatever you got, creatively post it. I love seeing that. It's what it's all about for me. I didn't want to just restrict the page to just, you know, one thing or two things. I wanted to say, Post your stuff, you know, if you have a link to something that's interesting or beautiful or, or, you know, a song or, uh, I don't know, a museum a virtual tour or, or whatever, post it. If you want to post something about crocheting, go for it. It's a creative endeavor. Underwater basket weaving. Underwater basket weaving. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, well, you could. It's good for a, a giggle. I would like to see Mark do that. I would, but we don't have a pool. We've got a bathtub. We do! Nobody said you had to be completely submerged. <laughs> This gray is working rather well. This taupe. Taupe. Yay. By the way, um, Diane says that's her favorite eyeshadow. Yes, I saw that. Your favorite eyeshadow. That is kind of a neat color for eyeshadow. Will it work on my skin? Nah. A pastel might, though. Oh, chalk. I, my youngest son used to have a girlfriend in high school who, who used chalk on her face all the time. She, for eyeshadow and blush, all the time, chalk. She came out with the most crazy colors, and, and I'd look at her and go, God, that looks really cool. What is that? What brand of makeup? And she goes, oh, it's chalk. Never considered that at the time. How'd she it, it just stays. Really? Well, think about it. Chalk oh, yeah. is... Yeah, because like when you're using chalk out, it stays on your fingers, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's kind of, I think it's because of the oils in your skin, and it just adheres to the oils in your skin because it's dry. Yeah. 
or it mixes with the oils in your skin if you're using oil-based chalk pastel. Although I don't know how healthy that is for you. So yeah, Mark, if you ever wake up and you like, you know, if you feel like there's something on your face, like you ignore it. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> it was the cat. Yeah, see, you gotta blame the cat. You blame the dog for other things. What we got? <laughs> I know those sounds are supposed to make me react a specific way, but I can't do it. <laughs> Charlie Brown. <laughs> oh my God, I haven't thought about that in so long. <laughs> right, right. If I stop early, Corolla's going to go to bed early, go to sleep early. Oh no, we must save her. That's right. <laughs> there you go, Corolla. <laughs> Blame the cat. <laughs> Oh my goodness. See, that's what we blame the dog for. That's what we blame the dog for. This is true. The silent but dead. I think I'm going to need a brownish color now. Like a more brown. I really like this color though. Really cool. I think that's part of the jellyfish right there. And that's her tail. I almost colored that like a leaf, like a plant. Because it just looks like a plant to me, you know, standing there by itself. But it's obviously her tail. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to reserve a lighter green for the tips. I think I'm going to get it, get a lighter green and just kind of go for it as it goes up. Make them lighter. I think that would be kind of cool. Mr. Spot is going to put my taupe away and I can't yet. So today I will go as long as I can. If we make it to two hours, woohoo! If I start feeling like my blood sugar is dropping, I'm, I'm going to have to go. But And I want to thank you guys so much for being so understanding about all this because I know it's just it's pretty crappy, you know? I mean, for me to, to have to do that, it's like, uh, I don't know. I feel like I'm letting you guys down, but <sighs> yeah. Anyway, Brown. Uh, I want to know how Cindy used Robin's egg malt forms in makeup. What? Robin's egg malt balls. Yeah, Cindy, how did you do that? <laughs> Oh. That's why you have below. <laughs> oh. oh, that's freaking hilarious. Oh, thank you, Corolla. <laughs> potato, potato. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys are awesome. <laughs> okay, let me. Is this going to be okay? Do I like that? Cats Play Art is in. Cats Play Art was here before. Cats Play Art is Evelyn. Wait a minute. Were yes. they here? Hello, Evelyn! 
Hey, we all get this. Yes, we do. Listen up. We would rather see you for 30 to 60 minutes as often as you feel like it rather than see you hurting or pushing. Aw. Oh, Donna. Agree. You guys, thank you so much for saying that. Less can be better. This is true. Yep. Except when it comes to chocolate. Except when it comes to chocolate. Well, yeah. I actually have some sugar-free chocolate. It's it's baking chocolate. I love dark chocolate. And I like bitter chocolate, so I'm in luck. I can eat that. And I know I shouldn't be because it's a trigger for my migraines, but I don't get much in the way of, of you know, things that I can eat that don't bite back in some way. Yesterday I was saying, I want a Whopper with cheese. Oh, my God. Robin's egg malted milk balls have blue, white, green, yellow candy shells, and they melt with spit. <laughs> no, said. Oh my God, Cindy, that's true. I remember eating those when I, uh, just a couple years ago, actually. And when you try and bite off the candy shell, yeah, when you get spit on them, it turns your fingers colors. I remember that. I'm gonna. Wow. Yep. I was gonna say I'm gonna have to try that, but I don't wear makeup anymore. I used to wear makeup. Who makes those robins? So I guess the whole maybe it's Maybelline thing went right out the window. Yeah, it's not Maybelline. That's for sure. It's not Memorex either. Right. Let's see here. Oh, I like the way this looks. This is um, chestnut brown that I'm using right now. And it looks really cool over these greens. It actually looks, I don't know if you guys uh, have ever really looked at seaweed, but it has some browns in it a lot of the time. Not always, maybe, but it does. It can. And I like the way that it looks over top of these other colors it's just really kind of cool and i'm winging it i'm winging it you guys i'm experimenting same as lots of other people do with this type of stuff and i'm just having fun well now there's an interesting bit of news in prisons the inmates who are artists use any color to candy to draw with oh wow Get paid in little Debbie. Oh my God, that's an awesome payment. Very cool. I didn't realize that. Wow. M&Ms and Skittles. That's cool. And you can eat the leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just made Mark laugh. Evelyn. I have not had Robin. <laughs> oh my God, I bet they don't too. I'm pretty sure there's personal experience involved in that. I, I, I'm thinking. Oh my God, that's funny. You know what I miss? Pizza and beer. Oh my God, that's like my my favorite. One of my favorite breakfasts ever is pizza and beer. Did you just say breakfast? Yes, <laughs> breakfast. Are you sure you weren't in the military? <laughs> I wanted to be at one point. I wanted to go airborne. I wanted to go into airborne, but I couldn't. I already had kids, and I was too old. I was twenty six when I decided that. I just was basically trying to get away from my boy's father because he was a dick. No filters, adult live stream. Probably a good thing that I didn't go into the, into the military. Not that I wouldn't have made it or anything, but I mean, you know, because I'm stubborn that way, but going in for the wrong reason, hmm.
Corolla just finished half a bottle of Bailey's. Yay! Yay, Corolla! Yeah. Uh, Donna almost joined the Navy, but evidently became a corrections officer instead. Oh, Donna, corrections officer. Very cool. Bet that was a hard job. Be Depends on the beer, but yes, I tend to agree with that. Yep, beer is bitter. But sometimes that's what you're in the mood for, you know. Oh, I know, Diane. Cold pizza for breakfast. Oh, my God, yes. Ha. Huh. Yes. I love cold pizza. I love pizza. Just plain and simple. I love pizza. We get these pizza kits from, or, well, frozen pizzas and pizza kits from Costco. And we doctor them up. Well, I doctor them up. So by the time that they're they're done, um, with, I'm done putting toppings on them. They're like five inches thick. <laughs> I was gonna put boiled eggs on them, slice up a boiled egg and see how that tasted. And oh. the oh my god. Donna, I don't blame you. That's kind of scary. Yeah, Cindy says, yikes. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. Taking a swig of water. You probably saw the bottom of the water bottle right there. Oh, there we go. For anyone that's never seen them, I just posted a link for Robin's Age. Turns out they're made by Hershey's. Hershey's, okay. You just posted a link. Yeah. He's he's on the phone today, guys. I'm telling you. Okay, let's see. Oh, so here's what we got. Um, putting some browns in on the bottom there. Oh, come on, get it get it right, girl. So I put some browns in down there. I'm going to make it darker even still. I just wanted to get that pigment in there. By the way, Bianca didn't see it. Bianca, really? Hello, Bianca. Welcome. <laughs> Does that say chocolate fandom? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Very cool. See olive yellow. Is that what I want? Let's see. I'll just color that on the back. Actually, that's not bad. It's very bright. But that's okay. I'm gonna go up here and put in a brighter color. Just a real quick layer here. Kind of blend it. That actually looks kind of cool with the white underneath it. And the white underneath it is the the um, charcoal. The white charcoal. It's this stuff. Lisa Matrokin uses this liberally on her work, and that's where I learned it, and it is awesome stuff. You can get it on Amazon, dickblick.com, jerrysartorama.com, and probably a few other websites that I can't think of off the top of my head. Evelyn says that she makes her pizza with Hamburger, sausage, pepperoni, onion, green pepper, and bacon. Yum, except for the green pepper. Those bite back. I, they do not like me. But oh my God, yes. And the more onion, the better. And cheese. And lots of cheese. Mushrooms. I, like I moved to another prison and ended up on a wing that was miserable. Aww. Mmm, man, all this talk about pizza. Holy crap. Yeah, now I'm like, oh, man. I really want a pizza. Two to thaw. How about that? Not the same. Mm -mm. You can go ahead and, yeah, knock yourself out, hon. <laughs> yes, three or four types of cheese, definitely. Absolutely. I like goat cheese on my pizza, but I like goat cheese. I could eat like a package of goat cheese all by myself. And you've done it? No. No, I haven't done it yet. 
yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoa. Right. My stomach probably wouldn't like me very much if I did that. So I'm putting this um, olive yellow up at the top and in key places where there's supposed to be like highlights showing and um, on this white, kind of blending it in with the white. So it looks like it's catching the light coming up, coming um, down from the surface of the water, which is what I planned on doing. So it kind of, am I blurry? No, I'm okay. So it kind of has a little bit of a, gosh, I hope that's a seaweed. Oh, yeah. Mm. Man, you guys have good taste in food. Wow. Woo goat cheese sour tasting. I never thought it was sour. No, I always thought it was kind of sweet. I am a I have a huge sweet tooth, you guys. It, if it's bitter, I probably won't like it very much. Um I'll eat it, you know, like other cheeses and stuff or whatever you have. If, if it's bitter, you know. I'll try anything once. Um food wise, food. I'm talking about food. Thing. Well, we're not getting into the other things right now. Oh. oh. Settle down over there. Peanut Gallery continues to comment. <laughs> oh, that's really good. But I can't eat it right now. I can't have honey right now. Well, I could, but it wouldn't be. The result would not be pleasant. Grass cheese? You mean? No, I don't know what grass cheese is. I have never heard of grass cheese. I think I'm going to give her a couple of little green strands in her hair as well. Just for a little tie-in. That doesn't look too bad. Okay. Yeah. Got to go down to this corner. I love this charcoal. It's so awesome. It works so well. I'm trying to get all these little nooks and crannies here. Metal? Metal. -E -T -T oh, nettle. How interesting. The girl says it's very young cheese. Very young cheese. Oh, okay. Not aged. I don't know if I have that. I don't really... I think the hard, the more aged the cheese is, the harder it is. Is that right? Possibly. Yeah, I don't know. Salad. Ooh, yeah. Oh my God, Donna. Ah. Now you're moving. <laughs> so, so metal cheese. Uh, when the cows get grass out for the first time, they eat grass. Uh -huh. so note after that. And you make cheese from that milk, that's called grass cheese. Got it. Well, that makes sense. It does make sense. Okay, cool. Thank you, Corolla. Smoked brisket for lunch. Ooh. 
Oh my God. Hey, just so you know, it's going to happen. Thank you. I'm doing okay. I don't feel like I have low blood sugar at all right now. Okay. Light. Like it's picking up the light. Kind of looks neat. My my paper is crackling. The paper that the harder it gets. Yum. Very cool. Oh my god. Evelyn's cousin smoked twenty pounds of brisket yesterday. Oh my god. Whoa, that's a lot of brisket. Oh my gosh, I should have shit that book there. Ah. Can't talk. No, Corolla, we're not going to blame you. This was totally on us. Yeah, this was on us. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, it's funny when, when I was first out of the hospital and my, because they had to take my um, intestines out to get to what they wanted to get to and put them back. Um, my digestive system was really screwed up and I could barely eat any types of foods. And I was hungry all the time because I just was hungry all the time. I'm not going to get into that. But anyway, I used to dream about eating food and I would dream about eating the foods that I liked the best. And one of the things that I would dream about was eating pizza. And it was so funny because I would be dreaming about eating pizza and I would, I would be chewing in my sleep and it would wake me up and I'd wake up chewing like I was eating pizza. It was just crazy, craziness. Hopefully this year for Thanksgiving and all of that, I'll get to have some real dessert. I don't know. It's a long way away. Must sharpen the pencil. Oh, my tip broke off. Son of a gun. Oh, you bastages. Come on out of there, you. There we go. Excuse me for a sec. Come on, you. I wonder if it's... Yep, it's gone. Let me put my little sharpeny... It's one of the reasons why I love this pencil sharpener, because I can... Um, well, that doesn't go right. It goes like that. Because I can take it apart like that and take out everything. And that's it if I need to. No, liquid diet is not fun. It's better than no diet. Oh, for crying out loud. They didn't tell me in, in the hospital that I needed to not eat carbs. So guess what I wanted because I'm a carboholic and I always have been. Anything that was sweet. There we go. Like sorbet. My lovely husband brought me some sorbet and I ate it and that turned out to be a bad idea. Although the nurse that was helping me, she loved that stuff. I should have just given the rest to her. Yay. Whew. A little bit darker. I didn't put a lot of uh, white charcoal on this part over here. A little bit, but not much. I'm getting all these tips.
Let me get a good light quality in there. So my son's girlfriend, her name is Leah. She plays musical instruments and sings and writes her own songs. But for the COVID-19, because everybody's stuck inside and stuff, she has been asking people to suggest songs that she can play for them and post on her Facebook page. Now, I think that's a great idea. The girl has already made me cry twice because she her voice is so beautiful. And the songs she's picking to sing are just really great songs. And hearing her sing them, I don't know. I don't know why. I just it just it makes me so happy. I cry. But I suggested some songs. I posted um on my Facebook page a um a link to an old, old album from 1975 or four called Buckingham Nicks. And I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I am a huge Stevie Nicks fan, huge and Fleetwood Mac, but mostly Stevie Nicks. Um, and um, this album is from Stevie Nicks and Lindsey Buckingham from before they were with Fleetwood Mac. And the music on this album is amazing. In fact, Crystal, the song Crystal that, um, that Fleetwood Mac later did is uh, the original form is on that Buckingham Nicks album. And I posted the, the link to the album and I said, you've got to sing frozen love. And so far she hasn't done it, but I'm pretty sure that she's probably waiting through two or three dozen requests. So anyway, I don't know. It, it's just, I hope that she can do it. I would love to hear her sing that. Cindy says, I had 90% of my stomach removed two years ago and just started to feel, oh, my God. I Oh, I feel for you, lady. I so feel for you because, yeah, I had some of my stomach removed, too. Because of the, well, I just had some of my stomach removed, too. Yes. So I know how it is. Good God. Yeah, I was hungry a couple of days. I was actually hungry, hungry, hungry a couple of days ago. I feel hungry like almost all the time, but that's not like the same as having the hunger pangs, you know, which I, I don't understand how your body can do that to you, but um, it happens. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I totally get it. Totally. Uh, let's see, anything else? Yeah, this part right here. Just kind of blend that in. Let's go here. You guys can't see everything that I'm doing, but um, I'm skipping over some parts and coloring in other parts with this light, light green. Uh, maybe I have to cover the whole... So I've got up here and then all of these little guys like right down here. Nick and Tina. Are in. Nick and Tina. Got little the highlights coming around right there. Hey Nick and Tina, how are you doing? Cindy. Oh, that's a cool idea, Corolla. Cat ice cream. Very cool. Let's blend up some of this blendy blend. There we go. Yeah, big congratulations to see you. That's a bit drastic, so I haven't done that way, but hey. Yes. Anybody's who anybody who has had part of their stomach removed for any reason, wows. 
Oh my God. That's rough. Even if you wanted it removed for like, you know, weight loss and stuff. Oh my God. Still, you know what? You like a gastric bypass. Holy shit. You guys, that is some rough stuff to get through. I never realized. Man. Oh man. I'm hoping that in a couple of years, I'll be back to normal. It's only been a year. Almost a year. Well, it's been almost two years since I had the whole big Whipple procedure done, but. Oh, my God, you're right, Cindy. That is cool. Hey, Rochelle, good to see you. Wow. Neat. So glad you guys are all here. Okay, let's see what else does it need. That, that looks pretty nice. That doesn't look too bad. I think I'm going to need a darker green, though, to come back in with some darker green. And just give it a little bit more of a um, contrast. Let's see, what is this one? This is neat. Elm green? Let's try that. Let's see what that looks like. I don't think that's dark enough. <laughs> Darker. What's this forest green look like? Yeah, it's too green. Let's see over. Um, I think I'm probably going to go back to this spruce color. Oh, yeah, that's good. This is spruce that I'm using right now. It's from the uh, volume one, I think. Where's my little paper? Oh, well, that's okay. And I'm not going to sharpen it because it looks like it's going to be okay. But we're going to go in here and kind of work from the bottom a little bit and just get some more dark in here. I don't want to put too much of this in because it's it's really, really green. But I think I will go back over it with something darker, like maybe uh, a really dark, dark blue ooh. Blue ooh. Let's see what happens. Ooh. You know, I'm really not liking that that much. I need something darker. Not so green. What is this? What does this button do? That is indigo. You know, I think I'm going to try the indigo. It's all a big giant experiment. Actually, I like that. It's looking good. So has the buffering stopped for you guys? Or is it still going on? What what's it like out there? Well, my end is sporadic. Sporadic? Okay. Botch surgery. Oh. Yeah, Cindy, I can understand that to 124 pounds. And that my goal weight was 125. That was like the least I away was 125 so I, I kind of achieved that Woohoo! thank you Diane <laughs> I would be skinnier if I didn't like food so much you know what <laughs> oh my god yep I can relate I love food food is awesome it sucks that I can't really eat some of the things that I want to eat like if I really if I could eat what I wanted to eat I would be eating like oh let's see there's this ice cream. I can't remember where it came from. I think it was Safeway called Heavenly Hash. And it's like chocolate-covered peanuts and marshmallow and fudge in chocolate ice cream all stirred up. And man, was that stuff good.
Gonna get some water. Oh no, I jinxed it. I'm sorry, Corolla. Oh man. Oh. Yummy. Oops. That looks pretty good. Mr. Spot. Get some of those shadows in there. Not too bad. Very cool. What? What? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Corolla. What, what, what did I do? I'm sweet and lovable. Sweet and lovable and likes to misbehave. I help when I took my shoes from Mal. Mal. <laughs> yep, we're Firefly fans. You got I that right. You aim to misbehave. I'm trying to get that gradient in there. This needs some dark right there. There we go. Oh, uh oh, I touched it. I didn't use my brush. Actually, you know these these colored pencils. Sometimes Prismacolors leave little crumblies. These pencils don't do that. They're really, actually, really nice pencils. Okay. Thank you, Rochelle. Oh, Evelyn, I love it when Mark is here because he's so much fun. Just really fun. Him and I have we get each other's sense of humor most of the time and um so that makes that makes for a lot of fun we can play off of each other oh at rin fairs we're we're really we have a lot of fun there so miss rin fair oh my god <sighs> miss a lot of stuff lately And it's not just because, you know, we have to stay indoors and stuff, which I'm still grounded, you guys. I am grounded until my doctor told me that I can't leave the house until almost the end of June. He, wants, he recommends that I stay inside that long because I'm a high risk for infection. So um, that sucks because I really am having a huge thrift store, store Jones. <laughs> I need to go to the thrift store. Even if I was telling Mark, even if I don't buy a lot of stuff, you know, it would still be cool to go. Like, 
my deal is I'll put like 50,000 things in my cart and then on the way up to the register, I'll go, I don't need this. Oh, I don't need that. Oh, I don't need that. <laughs> and put a bunch of stuff back. Yeah. Because I look at it and I go, as I'm putting it in, I'm not calculating how much it all costs, you know? And then all of a sudden I'll start calculating and I'll go, oh, no. Doesn't mean I won't use what's in there because generally I use everything. But I... um. I don't know. It's hard for me sometimes to justify spending money. And other times I'm just like, yeah, screw it. It's not going to go. It's not going to hop into my pocket or anything. You know, I did sell a journal this week though. I was happy. Oh my God. I sold a journal. Super cool. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing a live stream from, from goodwill that's not happening <gasps> bianca i have always wanted to do that i have always wanted to do that i would love because i am i won't say i'm the queen of thrift store shopping but i am really good at it ask anyone that knows me personally who has either been to the thrift store with me or who has seen what i brought home i am really good at thrift store shopping like i'll pick up something and go oh i can use this for blah 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 and they'll be going oh my god I didn't think of that. Yes, yes, that's what I do. I would love to do that. So fun. China is already getting a rebound. Oh, no. Oh, no. Donna, I'm already prepared to stay in for a really long time because I was staying in before. I thank you for that advice too, because if I hadn't considered it, I would have had to now. Bianca, you're right. It would make a great video. And yes, Cindy, repurposing. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Um, one of the reasons why I love making junk journals so much is because I get to use stuff that people might throw away to make something useful and beautiful. And that is, I think, the ultimate, I don't know, the ultimate help for Mother Earth. Because really what we want to do is we want to help eliminate the, the trash. You know what I mean? Not going back until August? Oh my God, Evelyn, that's a long time. It's not bad if she's working from home. Oh no, that's true. If you're working from home, that's no no big deal. But I mean, if you're, yeah. Mark has one fan already. He certainly does, Carola. Thank you. <laughs> oh. oh, you know what, Rochelle? That would be okay with me too, but I can't. I have, I would love to go visit a couple of people. In fact, I have a gift for, for one lady who it's been hanging around since Christmas. And because of, I wasn't feeling well, I, I didn't take it to her. And then the whole COVID thing hit and I couldn't take it to her. She's an older lady. She's like 70, what, seven or something. Super cool, super freaking cool person. And I made her a really huge journal that she can use for, I don't know, whatever, but I, I made it very personal for her. And um, I still haven't been able to give it to her and I feel kind of bad, but I, there's nothing I can do about it right now. I mean, I could, I guess, send Mark over with it, but I don't want to do that. It's a Christmas present. I want her to open it in front of me, man. You know what I mean? I want to see if she, if she likes it and you can't really tell if somebody, you can't really tell. You got to, you got to have, you got to be there when they open the, the gift. Is um, uh, Nick and Tina still here? I haven't seen them comment. That's why I'm asking. Nick and Tina, by the way, have a, um, a YouTube channel. And they do some diamond painting and coloring. So if you guys are interested in diamond painting and or coloring, you should check out their channel. Um, Nick and Tina Colors, I think it's called.
Yeah, a lot of people do, Cindy. A lot of people would like to work from home and it's impossible. <laughs> Cleaning house. Yeah, I, I don't like to clean house. I do it because it drives me crazy if it's dirty. And I just recently been able to do stuff like I tried to scrub my bathtub and I could only get about a quarter of it done because I can't. It's really hard for me to bend over because of, you know, you have abdominal surgery and it does crazy things. So I'm trying. I really am. <laughs> An accountant. Oh, my God, Evelyn, numbers make me crazy. Yeah, math, is not your math is not my friend. I don't care what kind of math it is. It's, well, except for geometry isn't too bad. But geometry is like a three-dimensional math. It's like a three-dimensional equation. You can see it. I can see it in my head. I can see it. like a cone is a three-dimensional shape. So I get it. But don't ask me to figure out what your damn X is because you can take your X and go fly and take a flying leap as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Because, yeah, the X has always intimidated me. In fact, I, when I was do, taking algebra in um, college, I had, at one point, five tutors. Five. And one of them was a math teacher. She, my best friend is, was a math teacher. She's a psychologist now, but... And super, super smart. I mean, just all around intelligent and smart. So yeah, but uh, she was one of my tutors and there were there were a lot of them and uh, I still didn't get it. I still did not get it. I barely passed algebra one. Algebra two, out of the question. I ended up crying and my teacher freaked out because <laughs> I was crying in class. Because <laughs> I realized, you know, I mean, if I don't, I was like, if I don't get this algebra stuff, I can't move on. I can't get my degree and so guess what I never got my degree I did teach but in order for those credits to be transferable to university I would have to have my students would have to have special um, special permission and I don't know if anyone ever went on to do that I was qualified to teach I wasn't qualified to teach math and there was no use for algebra in this in the art courses I was teaching so it is possible that someone could have gotten special permission to have those credits transferred to a university, but it, it would have had to have been granted. It wasn't just like, oh, you've got this under your belt now, and that applies. No. So, yeah, I, I never, I never actually graduated. But I was in Phi Theta Kappa. Did you know that, Mark? I did not. Yep, I was in Phi Theta Kappa. My grades, I had a 4.0 for a long time before I took algebra. Four freaking point oh, dude. That was a lot of work. And it was so fun. And then it went down to like a 3.8. Yeah. Sucked. And it's funny, too, because when I was in, in school and in high school and, and um, like junior high and stuff, my grades were not that good. I just wasn't applying myself. And I realized that. I knew that. Oh Best part-time job I ever had was adjunct teacher for the local community college up here teaching younger inmates GED classes. Oh, I bet that was rewarding. How neat. Evelyn, you're giving me hives. <laughs> oh my god! No, but I get that because I have, I have a, I used, I kept my psychology books for a really long time. I loved psychology. I got A's in everything, and I, I almost couldn't believe it. In every psychology class that I had, I got A's. It was just like it made sense to me. But algebra, no, nope, nope, nope. Big fat nope. <laughs> And along the nope road. What are we at? 131. Hey, man. Woohoo! Hour and a half. Wow. Very cool. Well, I had a job that, that 
she could color on Saturdays at her work, so she was coloring and getting paid. Oh my God, Corolla, nice. Very cool. Dang. And Evelyn graduated. She had a three nine eight <gasps> accounting degree. Sweet, smarty yeah. pants. I love hearing that kind of stuff. That's awesome. Definitely. Uh, <laughs> loved math until high school geometry. My teacher had. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny because when I was in high school, my one of my English teachers had halitosis really bad, and we called her the Dragon Lady because she had oh because she had dragon breath. My granddaughter is a. It is a big puzzle. What are you laughing at, Mark? My teacher we had in school didn't know what. Oh, no, what the age she was doing? So she's she uh, she explained it the next day. Uh, oh, cool, Rochelle, that's awesome. Went to the dean of students that got her replaced, but it was too late for me by then, so I had to take. Oh man. Oh, that sucks. Yep. You know, I've heard a lot of people say that it really, a lot of um, your success in algebra does depend on the teacher. A lot of your success in a lot of your classes depends upon the teacher. Because, I mean, if, you, if your teacher is, has a way of explaining things, then, you know, to make you understand it, or you, you know, you get all them switches in your brain to click over and say, oh, I get it. Yeah, you need you need to. You need to understand your teacher, definitely. I want to know what a Pi SC is, Michelle. Physics? Physics? Psychologist. Oh, I was thinking physician too. Physician? Oh, well, I guess it could be, but I took it to mean psychologist. I was going to incorporate art into my psycho my psychology practice. Or counseling. I wanted to do counseling, but I wanted to incorporate art into that too, because I believe that art, oh man, it's an underrated form of therapy. Well, it isn't anymore in the coloring community because you all we all realize, you know, what benefits it has. But for a long time, people didn't. When I was taking psychology in college, I people knew that there was a significance, you know using the hand the two hand in hand but it wasn't like now where you know you have a coloring community and we understand as do a lot of other people that the, the combination of art and psychology is is really kind of a natural thing actually okay i wanted to put in some more dark green uh Let's do this. Oh, what is this? Elm? Where's my olive? Yellow? No. Ooh, verdigree. What's this look like? Oh, nope. It ain't gonna happen. Uh, what's this? Forest green? Um, spruce. Let's see see this is cactus i think i'm going to go back to cactus green here and go over some of this blue and bring that tone that blue down just a little but keep the dark uh, keep the dark in there a bit yeah that's good got a little heavy-handed on some of that blue because i was flapping my jaws so much that's okay that's okay. Pretty much there isn't anything that can't be fixed somehow.
shorthand. Oh my God, how funny. Yep, shorthand. I never could understand how that could be considered <laughs> communication. It's a squiggle. It's a chicken scratch. It just, I know there's a way. I know. But it just, to me, it just looks really weird. Social worker with abused children. Oh, that's a really admirable. Yeah. Coloring to help them work out there. Oh, see, that's cool. Oh, definitely. Oh, my gosh. There's a lot to be said for that, man. Colors are, colors can be very therapeutic. Colors, mm, constructing a, a picture. Yep. Very cool. Let's blend that in a little bit. So I guess Nick and Tina weren't here after all. They must have left. Yeah, I didn't see the chat. Yeah. That's okay. I'm glad they stopped by for a bit, though. That was kind of neat. I wonder if they're mad at me because I unmodded them. Well, I did. I unmodded them because they were never here, but I also knew that they were having a lot of personal issues, mm -hmm. and I didn't want them to feel obligated, and I didn't want to bother them with going, you know, I'm community. I'm going to send you this message to tell you that I'm unmodding you. I just went ahead and did it. It wasn't anything other than that. I know some people look frown on that if you unmod them and you don't tell them that you're doing it or tell them why. They kind of, you know, it. It rubs them the wrong way, and I didn't want to do that. It wasn't my intention, but I just didn't want to bother them because I knew that they were having hard times. I mean, other than the hard times everyone else is having. They've been having uh, personal issues for a little bit. So Not with each other. Not with each other, no, with other people. No, as far as I know, they're fine. You know, that's just me. I'm, I'm, I would rather not bother someone if I think that they're going through hard times. And it's sometimes that's kind of a fault on my part because I mean, I don't know. I don't know if somebody needs an, a voice that says, Hey, I'm thinking about you and you're important to me. Or would they rather be left alone? I, I don't know. I, I, that's my quandary. That's my excuse and I, my story and I'm sticking to it. But seriously, I'm horrible at communicating um, through email and stuff. I just, it's like, uh, I'd, I'd hate texting too. I don't like texting either. I'm just now getting used to texting. And how long has it been? I've, ha I've been able to text on my phone for 12 years. At least. 12 years, yeah. And before that, of course, you, you couldn't text. You could just call on your cell phone. But that's when cell phones were humongous, you know? <laughs> Yes, I'm that old. Anyway, so I'm just now getting used to, to texting. It's probably because I type so slow. I just started, and this is funny, you guys are going to laugh. I just started, you know how some people text with both thumbs like this on their phone? I just started doing that like two weeks ago. I am not shitting you. And it goes faster, but I make more mistakes. And I hate autocorrect. Holy crap. We are not friends. A friend of mine texted her daughter one time to remind her to take her medication. Oh, no. And she, what she was trying to type was, have you taken your pill? What it autocorrected to was, have you taken your poison? Oh, my God. That's horrible. Take your strychnine, dear. <laughs> the wicked witch of the West, literally. Except I'm not that wicked. Okay, starting to look pretty damn good. I don't know if you've ever read the book Wicked or seen the, the Broadway play Wicked. You, you come to find out that the wicked witch of the West... Really was not a bad person, <laughs> but it was the Wizard of Oz and Glinda who actually made her a bad person. 
No, I've never read it or seen the play or anything. Yes. And there you have it, more worthless information that you can use. From the peanut gallery. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mark. <laughs> Oh my God, you're so funny. Oh, yep. Okay, so here's what she looks like. All of my little seaweeds and stuff. Getting all green and shady. Can you see that? Yeah, it's good. There we go. So I still need to work on her skin. And I think I'm going to go with, there's this really neat color right here I was looking at. It's called cork, but I'm going to try it on the back of here first. I don't know, that might look okay. Because what I have is I have a base of a, like a blue and green here. This is almost invisible too. What's up? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to, to you, say, since we're taking just a five-second break here, um, I'm going to have to get or I had to get rid of the vacuum. It really sucked. Oh, my God. You're grounded. Again. Again. Still. He's grounded. <laughs> oh, thank you, Diane. You don't do finger tap. Yeah, I, I, most of the time I hunt and peck kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Rochelle, I know. Too? What? Is that how you type too on your keyboard? No, I, I took typing in high school. So I, I actually do it right on my keyboard, but I've never gotten above like 75 words a minute. So, I mean, it's slow. And now it's even worse because I don't type long, you know, a, for a long time. So I'm out of practice. Funny man, Don, I know. Funny. Uh yeah. Oh, oh, thank you. You guys, you're so sweet. Rick. Oh my God, Evelyn, your dog is so cute. Holy crap. I saw that picture this morning on Instagram. I was just like, oh my God, he's so cute. Yeah, I think this color is going to work for the lighter, the lighter skin. That looks kind of nice. Wow, I really like it. Wow. Who, who, who typed 118? Diane. Awesome. Thank you, Bianca. 118 yeah you know when i uh, when i was in high school i think my top was like 90 but the girl sitting beside me she was typing like 125 words a minute and i was just like how do you do that what are you doing <laughs> it was fast and well as a second secretary i managed a part that was my own secretary so really, I mean, you know, that's one of those situations where if you have to yell at somebody, you have to talk to yourself. Bring myself coffee in the morning. Bring myself coffee in the morning. Yeah, bring myself coffee. God damn it, I told you not to put cream in it. Get this thing out of here. Bring me some real coffee. Aw. Oh, this is my water. You can't read it anymore, Colonel. I know, huh? You have to translate. <laughs> Did you become shorthand at that point? <laughs> shorthand typing, yes. Now there's a skill not everyone has. Yeah, we're back to underwater basket. Underwater basket weaving. <laughs> Woo! -hoo! How fun. So I'm giving most of her skin here 
this um, a light layer of this cork color because I like the way that it looks over top of everything. Looks really good. And it doesn't take much. Like I said, these, these have a lot of pigment. Oh, that makes sense. What's that? Oh, uh, Evelyn says that the typing speed sucks, but she can thank you like nobody's business. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. She's an accountant. Oh, right. Yeah. I know when I worked at, um, and yes, I worked in a college bookstore for a little while when I was in college here at um, in Arizona. I went to Central Arizona College, which, by the way, is like a mile and a half up the street from where we live now. And um, the lady who ran the bookstore and the, the student financial aid department, she did a lot of stuff. She had a lot of hats. But um, she could tin key really fast, too. She didn't even, I mean, it was just like... And she wasn't even looking at it. And I used to like watch her out of the corner of my eye. She never made a mistake. She never had to go back and, and, and correct anything. It was me. I just, wow. Yeah. She's good with numbers too. I liked working at that bookstore. That was a lot of fun. I learned a lot of very useful, um, I don't know. I, I guess you'd say skills when I was working there. I used to work with the vendor, the book vendors and, and shipping and oh, all kinds of stuff. And then when people would come in for their books, you know, to help them find their books and stuff like that. And um, of course, you know, you ring them up, you have to send them over to, I had to send them over to the other lady to do the financial aid stuff when they had a, grants and stuff for the books but I could help them get their stuff together it was kind of neat so I was kind of like assistant manager in the student bookstore for a little while it's a lot of fun Bianca yes Yes, it's a valid skill. <laughs> exactly, an overlooked skill. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Hmm, that doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. And that white um, underneath is just, it's just helping with all of the, uh, the highlights so much. So cool. Really? We're almost at two hours, peoples. Yeah. Woohoo! Man. Sad thing when you have to go, oh, look, I made it to two hours. Oh, man. Okay, so her skin is looking kind of creamy, which is nice. But her undertones are bluish greenish. So let's hold this up. So we've got her, her skin getting to where I want it. It's, it, it's getting there. Um, I'm actually going over the white really lightly. Uh, what I did was I kind of blended it with a Q-tip. And then when I go over it with the colored pencil, it kind of blends into the colored pencil. And that's kind of what I wanted because when I look at this picture, it to me, it looks like she's not that far under the surface of the water. So because of the uh, of the um, surroundings, so I wanted to, to kind of give it a a definite highlight. Oh, the um, the gray paper, I, re I highly recommend it. I highly recommend it. Um, 
it's not expensive. I, I don't know if you can get it where you are, but as far as I know, Amazon has it. And it's not that expensive from Amazon either. So I, I would say give it a try. Oh, no, that means I almost have to go to bed, Bianca. <laughs> Who says, man? Screen frozen. Oh, man. Dang it. Ah. Oh, this sucks. I I am disappointed in you, YouTube. Yeah, I see that it's frozen. It's on my other screen, it's frozen. Yeah. It's just buffering, but the screen is frozen. It's weird. Why are you doing that? But it's it up. Take your mouse and go go into the window. Yeah, I did that. Wow, and still see that's what cleared mine up. Well, I just went out and went back in because on that particular window, I'm still on the the live stream, but yeah, I'm still good on the live stream. Ah, <laughs> oh, Corolla. I ordered a Nick chat book Fantasia. Oh. Oh my God. Yes, Fantasia is awesome. I love that book. And the Christie, anything by Christine Karen. Yes. Jane Hankins isn't really my style, but it's fun. Let's see here. Let me see. I'm back in the other window. Yeah, it's not even letting me in there. Oh, hold on. Uh, it's really, there's a huge delay. And apparently, no, it's, it's okay now. So what I did on my computer, you guys, I, I went out of the window where, where the stream is. And maybe you could type this into chat, Mark. If it's buffering, if it's if it's frozen, have them shut that window and then go back in. Okay, now I wanted to do a little darker brownish skinnish color. What's this? Oil yellow. There's an interesting name. It's damn near invisible. So that won't work. Let's see, maple sugar. Let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah, that'll that'll be good. It's kind of yellowish. Uh, maybe a brown one. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. Cinnamon. I wonder if that would look okay. I'm trying to figure out what looks good on this paper because it's not the pa it, the paper changes the color of your pencil just a little bit. This one is cedar wood. That's probably too red. Oh, yeah. Uh oh, I think I put it back in the wrong place. Oh well. It's not like it's going anywhere. Uh, what is this? Bamboo. Let's see what that looks like. Mm. That's more orange. Well, how do I want it to look? Um, this one's my maple sugar has more green. And that has more orange. Let's try the maple sh sugar one. Let's see, because I need something darker on the shadowy parts, but I don't want it too dark. Yeah, that's not too bad. 